China has just sent a satellite into orbit, and the project is being closely watched in not only the world's scientific circles, but also in the trenches of cybersecurity. It was a picture-perfect launch as the rocket pierced the nighttime sky in China's Gobi Desert. The rocket is carrying the first quantum communication satellite into orbit from a launch pad in Inner Mongolia. The big question is how will this study of minute particles smaller than an atom affect quantum communications? It is an important question in this era of cyber attacks and information leaks. If the satellite works the way Chinese scientists believe, it will pave the way for a hack-proof communication system. The reason? Quantum mechanics serves as a protector of encrypted information. The ultra-high-tech system means information cannot be intercepted. Scientists say what is going on is truly revolutionary. You know, there has been quantum communication tested on the ground, you know, over 150 kilometers and with gas fibers and so on. But this is the first experiment in space, which will allow to cover larger distances than you can do on ground. This is the very first uh, experiment of this kind. So this is really a pioneering project. The satellite is called Mishus, after a 5th century BC Chinese scientist more than 2,500 years ago. Researchers in Europe, Japan, and the United States are spending hundreds of millions of dollars to tap into subatomic properties. But many experts say they lag behind China in quantum communication, and it's considered defensive in nature. Simply put, quantum particles are destroyed as soon as they are measured. Sean Caleb, CCTV in Washington. Hey, what's up guys? Gons here for the Face Like the Sun YouTube channel. RT published a story called Hack Proof, China Launches World's First Quantum Communications Satellite. Let me read the article for you, it's pretty quick. The world's first quantum communications satellite has been launched into orbit abroad a long March 2D rocket. The main task of the Chinese satellite is to potentially secure communications in an age of cyber attacks and global electronic surveillance. The 600 plus kilogram quantum experiment at space scale, Quest satellite took off from the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center in Gobi Desert at 1.40 a.m. local time on a two-year mission on Tuesday. Nicknamed Missius, in honor of the 5th century BC Chinese philosopher and scientist, Quest will be positioned at sun-synchronous orbit some 600 kilometers, that's 373 miles, above the Earth at an angle of 97.79 degrees, allowing it circle our planet once every 90 minutes. Quote, The newly launched satellite marks a transition in China's rule from a follower in classic information technology developments to one of leaders guiding future IT achievements, said Pan Jinwei, chief scientist of Quest project with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, as quoted by Xinhua. The satellite has been tasked with testing out a potentially uncrackable communications system. Quest will explore quantum teleportation by sending out keys from space to ground command using the principle of quantum entanglement, an act of fusing two or more particles into complementary quantum states. In practice, China hopes to send out photons from the satellite to two ground stations separated by about 1,200 kilometers, that's about 746 miles, which together form one entangled system. Operated by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the satellite contains a quantum key communicator, a processing unit, a laser communicator, quantum entanglement emitter, and entanglement source to transmit quantum keys to Earth. Quantum communication encryption is a unique method of encoding the content of the messages. Quantum keys are theoretically impossible to crack with the system detecting any intrusion attempts. For instance, when two people share an encrypted quantum message, if a third person intercepts it, it will change in an unpredictable way. China hopes that the experimental quantum encryption programs will be instrumental in addressing information security concerns when the government, military, and financial networks are becoming prime targets for espionage. Now, this is the kicker here. Quest is one of the National Space Science Center's strategic priority programs. If Quest is successful, China hopes to erect an Asian-European quantum key distribution network by 2020 and a global quantum communications network in 2030. Quote, if China is going to send more quantum communication satellites into orbit, we can expect a global network of quantum communications to be set up around 2030, said pan. This is it, folks. Clear indication and almost a confirmation of what we've been talking about with the 2030 Sustainable Development UN Agenda, which is a repackaging of the Agenda 21 thing that people know about, but for some reason they've moved on to other conspiracies, sort of leaving this one behind, you know, like, oh yeah, we know about that. And they just kind of jump onto other sort of more esoteric topics when really this is what's happening right in front of our face. And China is now involved as the ones that are going to lead in the information technology development when it comes to quantum communications. And so here we have it. It's there. 
the security systems are going to increase, which means there's going to be more lockdown of the internet eventually as these things begin to progress. If there is a global quantum communications network and everybody is on it, right? Not just on their devices, but perhaps with wearable technologies and worse yet, implantable technologies, which is already here. It's going to become more and more common as the years go by, as the shock value of culture to resist those things will fade. And, you know, the millennial generation and the generation coming after it accept some of these infiltrating technologies. We will see a serious global brain system where people are bought into this ideology, bought into this new world order system, economically, spiritually, institutionally, politically. This is the mark of the beast system being set up right before our eyes. They even say right there that with growing concerns with the government and military and financial networks becoming a prime target for espionage, well, come to the quantum communications network where everything is secure. If you really want to communicate on the internet safely, securely, if you want to buy and sell safely, securely, you're going to have to go on the quantum communications network. But what is going to be the price to pay for that? Perhaps it is what the Bible calls the mark of the beast in order to participate in this new economic, political, and ultimately spiritual system. So interesting story here about quantum computing, which ties to all the stuff we've been discussing with CERN and everything else in connection to space, which I think there's a huge connection that people are missing or dismissing because they believe in the flat earth of the dome and they just don't even look at this stuff, but it's what's happening right before our eyes or at least what they're telling us is happening. And either way, they're setting up a communication system that is going to encompass the globe, regardless of what you think is up there. So important issues. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have an awesome day, guys. God bless.